start the detection once the person enters the mart. If he is wearing a mask, he is allowed inside. Otherwise, we request him to wear a mask. And even while he is inside, we have to continuously monitor if the person is wearing a mask. And if he is not, we need to update the authorities. So in order to perform mask detection, we have taken the following approach. We first train our deep learning model using MobileNet V2 and then apply mask detector over live video stream. The flow of our model training is as follows. First we load the mask data and also initialize the following at the same time. We need the learning rate epochs and batch size. I set the epochs and batch size as 20 and 64 respectively. And uh, we have to load our data which is the with mask and without mask data. So we have the two categories and we need to perform one horn encoding on these labels before we can go on to data augmentation. In data augmentation, I have mostly used geometric augmentation like rotational range, width shift range, horizontal flip and so on. This adds more variety of data into the data set. The next step is to load the mobile net V2 network and uh, while loading it I ensured that the head uh, fully connected layers are le were left off so that we could tune it according to our needs. And then the, it, the head of the model was constructed on top of the base model. So once we placed the head uh, fully connected model on top of the base model that became the actual model that we trained our model on. That we trained on. And finally we compiled and saved the model. We apply mask detector over the stream. In order to do that, we load the face mask detector model and initialize the video stream. We loop over the frames from the video stream to continuously monitor people. We grab the frame from the threaded video stream and resize it to have a maximum width. In our case, it is 800 pixels. We then detect faces in the frame and determine if they are wearing a face mask or not. We do that by extracting the confidence levels or probabilities associated with the detection. We filter out weak detections by ensuring the confidence is greater than a minimum confidence level, which is 0.5 in our case, and compute the XY coordinates of the bounding box for the object. We then associate a color with each label. In our case, if label is mask, we assign it a green bounding box and no action is taken and in case a no mask label is signed we assign it a red bounding box send an email notification to the authorities and also a screen pop up is shown hi i'm yoi chen i'm very glad to share you the technique behind the image enhancement first denoising here we use the filtering method to do the denoising Two filters are designed for two different kinds of noise. For the Gaussian noise, we use an average filter. This filter averages the pixels in a 3x3 local window, step by step, and we get the output. As you see, after denoising, the mask detector successfully detects the face and finds I'm not wearing a mask. We also design a medium filter for another kind of noise, salt and pepper noise. When we convolve the image with the medium filter, it shows the medium pixel in a 3x3 local window and output the result. Similarly, the mask detector finds my face and successfully recognizes me not wearing a mask. The next one is the illumination improvement. We utilize two methods for the illumination improvement. First is the histogram equalization. The histogram is the distribution of the pixel. Histogram equalization tries to redistribute the pixel from a narrow area to a wider area. For example, an image in low light condition may only have the pixel value from 0 to 100. After the histogram equalization, the pixel value is redistributed from 0 to 255, which can improve the lighting condition. However, as you see, the performance of the histogram equalization cannot be said excellent. In fact, Histogram equalization is more suitable to solve the narrow distribution problem. 
If we want to improve the image in very low light condition, light at night, we need a Mablet, a powerful deep learning technique. The Mablet is composed by three modules, FVM, Feature Extraction Module, EM, Enhancement Module, and FM, Fusion Module. FVM tries to extract the RGB texture features from the image. The EM is try to enhance the texture feature in low light condition into a good lighting condition. The FVM tries to fuse all the features from low level to high level, and the output of the fusion module is the enhanced RGB image. Here, the input is sent to the input of histogram equalization. However, the performance is much better which means our VAM detector can also be deployed at outdoor area. The last one is the super resolution. GAN is applied here to do the super resolution. Here we train two networks. One is the generator network. Generator will try to generate high resolution image from a low resolution image as realistic as possible. The another one is discriminator network. Discriminator will try to justify whether the input is generated image or real image. In the GAN, discriminator will only use to assist the generator producing better, more realistic image and will not be used when we deploy the system. We only use the generator for the deploying stage. Here is the result of the super resolution. The left side is the low resolution image and the right side is the high-resolution image. That's all about the image enhancement.